بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين This is chapter 3 Differentiation Rules and we start by section 3.1 Derivatives of Polynomials and Exponential Functions Here we will learn some rules to use to find the derivatives. So we start by the derivative of the constant function. The derivative of the constant function is zero. So for example, the derivative of this function, if a prime of x is zero, because pi is a constant number. Of course, if you use the limit of the derivative as the limit, the definition of the derivative, uh, then f of x plus h here is pi, and f of x is also pi, so pi minus pi would be zero. So the derivative of a constant would be always zero. The derivative of x to the power one is just one. So the derivative of x is one. Also, you can think of this, you can think of this too, that the graph of this function is a horizontal line, and the slope of the horizontal line is zero. So that's why the derivative is zero. And here, y equals to x, The graph. this is the graph of this function. It's the line y equals to x, and this line has a slope one, one over one, which is one. So the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of x to the power n is n times x to the power n minus 1. So, for example, the derivative of x to the power 10, f prime of x would be 10, you take 10, then x to the power 10 minus 1, which is 9. So the derivative of x to the power 10 is 10 times x to the power 9. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. And please memorize this formula. We can use this formula, which is the derivative of x to the power n to find the derivative of 1 over x, because 1 over x can be written as x to the power negative 1. And then f prime of x would be negative x to the power negative 1 times, but negative 1, I just write it negative, times x to the power negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. And there is the, now x to the power negative 2, you can take it down uh, and call it x squared. It would be x squared. If you take uh, x to the power negative 2 down, it would be x squared. So the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. The derivative of a square root of x is 1 over 2 times square root of x. And please also memorize this formula because these two formulas will come again and again and also you can use the formula this formula the power rule the derivative of the power function to find the derivative of square root of x because square root of x you can write it x to the power half so if a prime of x would be half times x to the power half minus one which is negative half we don't like negative powers, so you take it to the denominator below to make the coefficient positive, and then x to the power half is just square root of x. So the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 times square root of x. To find the derivative of 1 over x squared, I write it x to the power negative 2. And then f prime of x would be negative 2 times x to the power negative 
2 minus 1 which is negative 3 then I take x to the power negative 3 down and write it x to the power 3 so this is the derivative to find the derivative of cube root of x square I write it as x to the power 2 over 3 and notice that here I did not find the derivative yet but now I'll find y prime using the power rule so it's 2 over 3 times x to the power 2 over 3 minus 1 which is negative 1 over 3 we don't like negative powers so keep the 2 up 3 is already down and x would come with positive power in the denominator so finally I can write it 2 over 3 times cube root of x find equations of the tangent line and normal line well if this is the tangent line to the curve the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line so this is the normal and this is the tangent to the curve y equals x square root of x well the tangent line the equation of the tangent line is y minus f of a well a here is 1 okay this is a and this is f of a so let me write it f of a equals f prime of a times x minus a this is the equation we always use in our case here f of a is 1 I need to find f prime at 1 and x minus a which is 1 so all what I need to find is the slope of the tangent line at 1 so I need to find the derivative of the function the function is x times square root of x to use the power rule I have to add the powers this is x times x to the power half half plus 1 is 3 over 2 and now I can find the derivative using the power rule 3 over 2 times x to the power 3 over 2 minus 1 which is half I need the derivative at 1 f prime at 1 so 1 to the power half is 1 so it's a 3 over 2 so that's the slope of the tangent line so the equation would be y minus 1 equals f prime of 1 which is 3 over 2 times x minus 1 and if you want you can solve it for y so you write it 3 over 2x minus 3 over 2 plus 1 is minus half and that's the equation of the tangent line this is the equation of the tangent line all right how to find the equation of the normal line well this is the slope of the tangent line slope of the normal line would be negative 2 over 3 you find the reciprocal of 3 over 2 2 over 3 and you multiply by a minus sign because we know that the slope of a line and it's the other the slope of two perpendicular lines if you multiply the two slopes of two perpendicular lines their product should be negative 1 so if you multiply 3 over 2 times negative 2 over 3 you get negative 1 so when you have a slope and you need to find the slope of a line that's perpendicular to it you find the reciprocal and multiply by a negative sign so the equation of the normal line would be y minus 1 equals negative 2 over 3 times x minus 1 and you can solve it for y so it would be negative 2 over 3x plus 2 over 3 negative 2 over 3 times minus 1 is plus 2 over 3 plus 1 so it would be plus 5 over 3 so this is the equation of the normal line to the function at the point 1 1 now to find the derivative 
of c times a function, constant times a function. We can take the constant out and find the derivative of the function. So for example, find the derivative of this function. Will you notice that this function is 5 times x to the power negative 3? So to find the derivative of this function, the derivative would be 5, you just keep it outside, okay? And then you find the derivative of x to the power negative 3, which is negative 3 times x to the power negative 3 minus 1, which is negative 4. So negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, and x to the power negative 4, I take it into the denominator as x to the power 4. So that's the derivative. The sum and difference rules. The derivative of the sum is the sum of the derivatives. The derivative of the difference is the difference of two derivatives. If, if, and g are differentiable. So you can use these formulas whenever you need. So for example, find the points on this curve where the tangent line is horizontal. What happens when the tangent line is horizontal? When the tangent line is horizontal, the slope of the tangent line is zero. Slope is zero. So the derivative is zero. So when he says the tangent line is horizontal, he means that y prime is zero. So let us find y prime. The derivative of x to the power 4 is 4 times x to the power 3. And minus, I can apply the derivative, okay, to the difference, to the sum. And I can take minus 6 out, okay, because it's a constant and find the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. And the derivative of 4 is 0 because it's a constant. So y prime would be 4x cubed minus 12x. And now I need the point on the curve where the tangent line is horizontal. So the derivative is equal to 0. I can take 4x as a common factor. So I'll have x squared minus 12 over 4 is 3. Okay, if you multiply, you go back to this one. So either 4x is 0, or dividing by 4, x is 0, or x squared minus 3 is 0, so x squared is 3, so x is positive or negative 3. He needs the points on the curve. So points are, this is the x coordinate, which is zero. You put it here, here in the function. You replace x by zero here, you find y four. So this is the first point at which the tangent line is horizontal. The second point is square root of three. And you put x equal to square root of three and you raise square root of 3 to the power 4 and then minus 6 times square root of 3 squared which is 3 and then plus 4 and you will find that the answer is negative 5 so this is the second point the third point when x is negative square root of 3 so negative square root of 3, you raise it to the power 4. And then minus 6 times negative square root of 3 raised to the power 2. And then plus 4. The answer is also negative 5. Because x to the power 4 and x to the power square the negative sign does not uh, make a difference if you have x squared and x to the power 4. So these are the three points on the curve in which the tangent line is horizontal. And if the tangent line is horizontal, this means that the slope of the tangent line is 0 
and it it's also mean that we have either a maximum or a minimum because the tangent line is horizontal at the maximum and the minimum. What about the number e? The number e is the number such that this limit equals one. So you can say that this is a definition of the number e as h as h approaches zero. So limit e h minus one over h is one as h approaches zero. Uh, the derivative of the natural exponential function e to the power x is the same function e to the power x. And we use this fact in the proof of this uh, rule. So find f prime and f double prime. Well, f prime of x derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x minus derivative of x is 1. If double prime, so we find the derivative of f prime, derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x and the derivative of negative 1 is 0. So that's the second derivative. At what point on the curve of y equals e to the power x, is the tangent line parallel to this line? So the tangent line is parallel to the line y equals to 2x, which means that since the slope of this line is 2, so the slope of the tangent line, the slope of the tangent line is also 2 because the tangent line is parallel to this line. So the slope of the tangent line is 2. And the slope is the derivative. So y prime is 2. What is y prime? y prime is e to the power x, because the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. The question, at what point on this curve, the tangent line is parallel to this line? So at what point the derivative is 2? So ex is 2. Now how to solve this equation? I apply len, okay, or I can immediately change it to the logarithmic function. Len cancels e and x would be len 2. The question at what point? So this is the x coordinate. To find the y coordinate, I go to the function. And I replace x by len 2. So I'll have e to the power x, which is len 2. But e cancels len, and the answer is 2. So this is the point on the curve at which the tangent line has a slope equals to 2, and then parallel to the line y equals to 2x. This is the end of the section. I hope you enjoyed rules of derivatives.